You are most welcome. I'm so excited and happy to see you once again. You know, for some time now, we have been talking about emotion that is so much affected by the Earth's gravitational force. And we call that motion, motion under gravity. And we said we have two sets of motions which we can consider motion under gravity. We talked about vertical motion. And this vertical motion we are talking about can be a vertically up motion or vertically down motion. Whichever of them, gravity affects that motion. We also, also looked at projectile motion where a body is shot at an angle into space. And gravity acts on that body. And the body describes a parabolic path. And we call that path a trajectory. We are coming to look at the last aspect of motion under gravity. And that is motion on an inclined plane. Motion on an inclined. So what is a plane? You see, we must first of all understand all these things before we can proceed to treat this topic into details. So what is a plane? A plane is basically a flat surface. A flat surface. I have with me here a flat surface, this white flat surface. And that is a plane for you. Now watch it. I'm going to allow this one to lie horizontally, as you can see. And I'm going to call this one horizontal plane. Now, should I raise this plane and position it this way? The plane is now lying vertically. And I'm going to call this a vertical plane. Now, it is neither a horizontal plane or a vertical plane. Now watch it. I'm going to incline it this way at an angle to the horizontal. And I'm talking about this angle, this angle. This table is serving as the horizontal. And this is the angle the plane is making with the horizontal. Such a posture is simply called an inclined plane. And any motion that goes on along this plane is also affected by gravity. You know what? You leave something here. Just leave something at the upper edge of this. And gravity will push it down. And I'm going to demonstrate that, that one for you to see. I have this ball. Mm. I'm not going to push it all. I'm just going to hold it at the upper end, edge here, and leave it. And let's see what happens. On its own, the body rolls down. And in fact, if you watch it carefully, as it rolls down, it speeds up. It means that there's a, there's a force aiding it. And that is gravity for you. Oh, what about if it is supposed to go up? Mm. Supposed to go up the plane. And I'm going to push it. And you must understand this, that when a body is supposed to go up, that body must first be given a push. It will be an error against physics for a body on its own to lift itself up. It is, it is an error. That body must be given a push. It might, it might be given a force or it might be given an impulse. I'm going to push this body up the plane and let's see what happens. Watch it carefully. Mm. Ha! Ah, it gets to a point. It comes back. What it means is that as it was going up the plane, 
something was opposing it. It slows down up the plane. It got to a point, it stopped, and then it came back. And that is gravity for you. So in short, when you have a motion taking place on an inclined plane, gravity will affect it. Gravity will speed it up when it is rolling down the plane. And gravity will slow it up if the body makes an attempt to move up the inclined plane. Gravity will slow it down. This is another aspect of motion under gravity. I hope you understand what we are talking about. Now, in our next lesson, we shall be looking at the principle governing this. The principle governing this and the uses of an inclined plane. We shall come back.